Let's play Need for Speed Rivals. Let's skip pat. No. No, we're not going to be skipping this. Alright, well, you know, I guess it's only a few seconds. It's not too bad. We can deal with that. We can deal with that. That's fine. Press enter to begin. Alright, let's do that. Cool, let's begin. Hmm. Interesting looking menu. Is this a... Uh, is this still loading, or... What? No, I'm not. I can't get past this. I'm pushing the limit on the most powerful PC. You won't let me pass this menu. What's happening? When we won, this isn't actually a menu, is it? This is an opening cutscene. That's amazing, considering I've watched this three times now, in fact. We are the law. You can't catch devils with angels. I was hoping maybe it was just loading the game behind this, but apparently not. I am not you. I am the life you're too scared to live. I'm sorry, what? I am awake. Is this Reddit? <laughs> Who is this aimed at? Who thinks this is cool? Oh god, talk about living on the edge. Wow, it's arguing with itself. This is incredible. No police officer would ever say that! In a million years. And you are a target. You are my rival. Is this the lyrics to a Linkin Park track? What the hell is this? Still can't skip this, by the way. Alright, so we've been sitting here for, what, about two minutes. Oh, is it finally ended? Great. Excellent. I, I assume it's gonna... There's a loading screen? Why couldn't you have loaded behind that? What's, what's the point of the loading screen? So did you just play that, sat me there for two minutes for no reason, and then decided, you know what might be a good idea if we start loading some game assets? Oh, wonderful. More cutscenes. Uh. Right, okay. Oh, finally, some interactive functionality two and a half minutes into this. Alright, let's play as a cop. Alright, here we go. Alright. Oh, it's another cutscene. Great. Okay. Well, I gotta say, having played the last few Need for Speed, I could probably pick up on this fairly quickly. Especially considering a lot of the systems in Rivals appear to be very similar to Most Wanted. Alright. Bunch of training. Okay, can't skip through this either for some reason. Why is that? Okay, thank you. Excellent. Oh, still can't move. <laughs> God, it's like, we really don't want to give you control of the menus because you might do something dangerous. The funny thing is, the point of this video was supposed to be to show you what happens when you unlock the ridiculous locked frame rate of this game and the absurd nature of the behavior that is caused by it. But I'm honestly more pissed off about the fact that the game won't let me play the sodding game. All right, finally we're here. No mouse-driven menu because, you know, that would be insane, right? So we control it with page up and page down. Keys that I barely even knew still existed. Keyboard configuration. At least they've got that. That's nice. Can't fit it on the same page because that would be too sensible. Alright, back to the garage. No, no, I was... Let's, no, oh, more cutscenes. Right. I was wanting to look at the options menu, but apparently it doesn't want to let me do that. It does not trust you with anything, does it? It's really incredible. Ugh. Right, can I go back to the options menu now? Thank you. Much appreciated. Excellent. Wonderful. <sighs> PC settings. Cool. You know what's missing here? Frame rate. Because there isn't an option for frame rate. The game is by default locked at 30 for no good reason. This is also after them saying that it wouldn't be. Just want to point that out. So I use the console command, or more specifically a command line parameter, to unlock the frame rate to 60. <laughs> You're going to see exactly what that does in a minute. It's quite hilarious. So, yeah, that's about that. See if there's anything else, anything we're missing here. Eh, it's fine, nothing really problematic about that. Alright, let's actually do some racing, shall we? The, you know what would be nice if this map was mouse controlled and I wasn't having to move around it with the freaking cursor keys. What is this? Come on! It's absolutely ridiculous. Alright. Yes, that's what I said. Let me- oh, more loading screens, great. Let me bloody race. It can't be that hard. Oh, great, a YouTube tutorial of how to actually race. Even better. 
Why can't you just tell me this while I'm racing? Yeah, you don't have to give me a video to explain this. That's not what a tutorial is. Explain it while I'm actually doing the racing. Okay, are we done yet? I assume I can get through. Alright, excellent. Cool, we are done. Number six, easy drive. Yeah, that seems a bit redundant in a Need for Speed game. Let's go! Oh, wait! What? Why are you doing that? You just let me begin! <laughs> what is- You let me drive three meters before this happened. What did- Alright, can I- Like, apparently I'm starting what it wants me to start. Oh. More- Oh, I can race. Thank God, here we go. This is what happens when you unlock the game to 60 frames per second. Whee! It makes the game run at double speed. I know. It's insane. It's like trying to run an old DOS title. It's incredible that any modern game could possibly do this, but it does. Because, you know, locking a racing game at 30 frames per second seems like a really, really good idea, right? Yeah, I mean, it's absolutely incredible idea. So, driving at 60 FPS is absolutely impossible, I might add. If you want to drive at 30 FPS, well, you could get a bloody console. I'm sorry, guys, but there is no excuse for 30 frames per second. And apparently it screws with the physics as well, as I think you can very clearly see there. There is no excuse for 30 frames per second on a 2013 AAA game on PC. Hell, there's no excuse for 30 frames per second on next-gen consoles. Oh, more tutorials. Brilliant. Just brilliant. Graze out the start pursuit bloody option because, yeah, we're going to explain the same friggin' thing over and over again. One assumes, I would imagine, that the audience of this game are drooling idiots. At least that is what Ghost Games appears to be of the belief. Oh, jeez. I'm just, I'm sick of it. I am sick of being treated like an idiot. I really, really am. It is getting beyond a joke. I'm sick of being treated like a moron. No, I do not believe 30 frames per second on a modern title is okay. At all. This pursuit is going really, really well. One could say it's hot right now. I am sick of being treated like that, uh, someone that believes that 30 FPS is okay. I'm sick of being treated like somebody that has to go through five minutes of cutscenes and opening tutorials to learn how to play a race game that has like four bloody keys. I think we need easy drive. What can I say? There we go. I have a feeling, by the way, that my speed is actually a lot faster than the AI cars because I set to 30 frames per second. 60 even. Oh my god. Could we not be treated like morons? Would that- that would be nice, yeah? I expect better than this crap. This is a $60 game. I'm sorry, but this is nonsensical. I wonder if we can force it to go even worse. I've got a feeling that maybe I could unlock this to 120 frames per second and things will get even more interesting. Let's try it. Alright, so I knocked the graphics down to low because I couldn't get it to 120 frames per second. The Basically the highest I can get it to is about 100, right? And that's with everything turned down. It doesn't actually seem to be much difference at all in the frame rate regardless of what setting I'm on, but I want to eke out those couple of extra frames per second so we can see some speed! Stop that. So, by the way, to get back to this, I had to watch all the opening cutscenes and all the opening training again. I assume if you do not finish the opening training, then you do not get past any of this whatsoever. You have to do the whole bloody lot again, including the opening cutscenes, which makes no bloody sense whatsoever. Can we... Can we just... Can we... I mean, what do you... Wow, it won't even let me out of this now. This is great. I assume it's probably because of the massive frame rate unlocking I did. It's broken the damn thing. Oh, jeez. What an absolute farce. Alright, here's the reality of this. You might say, well, you screwed with it and that's why it broke. I shouldn't have to screw with it. I shouldn't have to go to a command line prompt to unlock the frame rate to something reasonable. This is not an Xbox 360. This is a PC. My PC will run modern games at 120 frames per second when they're properly optimized to do so, and I can see 120 FPS on my 120 Hz monitor. Can I distinguish each, each individual frame? No, absolutely not. Nobody can. But that doesn't actually matter, because you feel the difference. That's how the frame rate actually works. 30 FPS is not acceptable anywhere. 
I shouldn't have to be unlocking this nonsense. I shouldn't have to be hacking things in order to get, say, field of view changed. Or get basic functionality like V-Sync or AA or rebind my keys. I shouldn't have to be doing this because a reasonable company, a reasonable developer that actually gave two shits about PC would have put those options in in the first place. Utterly sodding broken is what I would call this. Absolutely busted. This needs fixing. Unlock the damn frame rate. Assuming that you even can. I have no idea how they managed to code this this way. They bound the speed of the game to the actual frame rate, which is just a rocky mistake. It is very rare to see a modern game actually do that. Very rare. There's like one that I can think of, and I think that was actually Terraria. And even then, that didn't fully bind it. Just ridiculous. Let us skip past these sodding cutscenes. Don't treat us like idiots, and for the love of God, put some sodding effort into your PC port. This is a farce. An absolute waste of everybody's time. Avoid like the plague. Thank you very much. And hopefully I won't have to make dumb videos like this anymore. Tch. Yeah, chance would be a fine thing. I'll see you next time.